Welcome to KMNH, Kids Making the News Happen. Hi, I'm Toby, and welcome to KMNH, Kids Making the News Happen. Are your pets in danger this holiday? According to southernliving.com, you may be putting your pet's health at risk this holiday season. Here are the top five most dangerous things for your pets in your home this holiday. A Christmas tree stand that holds water or fertilizer. If you buy a real tree, skip the tree fertilizer and keep pets from treating the stagnant water as their personal water bowl. Delicate ornaments. Make sure that small or breakable ornaments that are placed higher on the tree. They can be a choking hazard or even cause intestinal blockage, plus glass ornaments may potentially injure their little paws and mouths. Batteries and small toys. Stray batteries or tiny dollhouse pieces. Pets love to discover small items like batteries or tiny dollhouse pieces, and yes, they will eat them without proper supervision. These small pieces can get stuck in their intestinal tract, which will probably require surgical removal. Candy ranks high on the list because candies can become choking hazards to pets without strong teeth and jaws. And chocolate is a long known toxin to all animals, requiring a potential expensive emergency visit to the vet. To be safe, keep these treats out of a pet's reach. Don't feed your pets from the table. Serving a human holiday feast to your pets will only make them sick and turkey bones can be dangerous. Deck the halls, but remember, holly and mistletoe can cause vomiting and severe stomach upset in pets if ingested. Keep the mistletoe securely fashioned over a doorway so only you can reach it. Lights can make a holiday rememberable, but in a bad way. Keep strands of sparkling lights away from the bottom few branches of your Christmas tree, beyond the reach of your pet's curious sniffing. Not only can pets get tangled in string lights, but these strands can give them a real shock, especially if a pet bites through the wire. Remember to keep it safe this holiday season for you and your pets. This k and segment was sponsored by United Reliance. Thank you for your support. Cincinnati Police District 5 reached out to Happen to find some Happen families that could participate with this year's Holiday Shop with a Cop program. Uh, today I believe there's uh, probably anywhere from 12 to 15. There's three from District 5 in, uh, in the neighborhood unit and there's also probably about anywhere from 9 to 12 uh, school resource officers as well as their supervisors. And uh, Sergeant William Bell of District 2 he is the one who usually uh, gets this together. He does a fine job, and uh, we're very appreciative for what he does. So my little sister Alicia and my grandma got to go on a shopping spree at Kroger. I got to tag along with Tommy, the director of Happen, to record the happenings for Cam and H. Plus, I needed to help my grandma with the heavy lifting. We shopped, and we shopped, and we shopped some more. It was a great day of giving back and community building. Oh, I think it's, um, for me personally, it's just a great way to interact with the community and get to know our partners better and the residents and the people that frequent Northside and the rest of the neighborhoods. And hopefully it also brings together, you know, a, a good working relationship, partnership with the police department to show people on the other side, you know, that, that the police are here, they're helpful, uh, they mean well and they're here to assist in any way. It was a great day of giving back and community building. And at the end, all the kids received a present from officers. I got a new football, thanks to CPD, our District 5 officers, for making it happen. This k and segment was sponsored by the Northside Business Association. I'm a graduate of Chase Elementary School right here in Northside, just one block away from our KMNH News Studio, and I'm so happy that students who attend Chase are receiving treat bags this year from Tickle Pickle Restaurant and Happen Inc. 
Thea Dickman, the owner and operator of Tickle Pickle, wanted to give something special to kids who live in the neighborhood. So Tickle Pickle teamed up with Happy Inc. to deliver over 270 holiday treat bags to the doorsteps of kids that live in Northside, and specifically the students that attend Chase Elementary. We thought it'd be nice to get bags for some of the local kids together um, so they could get some treats and toys for Christmas. If that's all they get or if they get a lot more, then that's great. We just wanted to brighten kids' days. Tickle Pickle had a special burger fundraiser to help pay for some of the treats and raised $1,000 with the support of people like you who love Tickle Pickle burgers and love Northside. She also picked up the phone and asked local companies to help by donating products. And the donations came in. A special thanks to Gordon Food Service, Grippos, General Mills, and Perfetti Van Mel, the makers of Airheads Candy. Happen put together a postcard mailer that went out to every student asking them to be on the lookout for some special treats on their doorsteps. And then Happen and Tickle Pickle staff started to prepare the treat bags. It was a full on family effort to help pack the bags with Leah and her husband Ray, plus their kids Carly, Sydney, Stefan, and Isla, plus Ashley, who is a longtime employee and family friend. Well, it allows us to kind of unify as a community and help out other people and just really bring some Christmas spirit to the community because times have been, this is definitely a weird Christmas for everyone. So it's nice to kind of join up with uh, other people in the community and help out. From our family at Tickle Pickle to yours. Happy Happy holidays. Holidays. NBA star Giannis Antetokounmpo signed the largest contract in NBA history when he agreed on a five-year Supermax deal worth $228.2 million. To break it all down for you, he will be earning $193 a second, $11,600 a minute, $139,000 a quarter, $556,000 a game, and finally for a total season he will make $45.6 million. The Milwaukee Bucks superstar who was born in Greece to Nigerian parents has won the Most Valuable Player of the Year award twice and Defensive Player of the Year as well. Asked about his work ethic, Anthony Kupo said if you want to be one of the best, you have to elevate all aspects of your game. This k and segment was sponsored by Christopher Pulowski and Laura Vogan. Thank you for your support. A frozen waterfall in central China has caught the attention of some tourists in the area because the ice of the waterfall looks almost exactly like a Christmas tree. This isn't the first time these falls have frozen in this way. Back in 2017, there was a short documentary called Searching for Christmas Tree about two climbers who actually scaled the 140 meter tall waterfall. Kids Making the News Happen was made possible in part by the support of the Dembski family Thank you. Recently, I did a story about the number one food item delivered by Grubhub this year, the spicy chicken sandwich. And this week, we have another spicy fast food story, this time about Chick-fil-A's Polynesian sauce. According to Mash.com, Polynesian sauce is known for its explosive flavor and now also for its exploding mess. Fans of the sauce has been known to hang on to a few in case of emergencies, but they have recently been finding the plastic sauce packs have burst in their drawers or purses. While it's still unclear why the sauces explode, you should probably throw away any unused packets you might be hanging on to. We would like to thank Philip Denning for supporting this broadcast of Kids Making the News Happen. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine said last week that the first vaccines in Ohio will go to frontline workers like hospital employees and EMS personnel. DeWine did not know when the vaccine would be made available to the general public. President-elect Joe Biden and future First Lady Dr. Jill Biden will receive a COVID-19 vaccine in front of the media to help build public confidence. Vice President-elect Kamala Harris and her husband Doug Emhoff will also receive their vaccines next week. So when should we expect the opportunity for the general public to be vaccinated? 
According to Los Angeles Times, it could be spring, summer, or even the fall before the vaccine is available to healthy people who are not essential workers or considered to be a high-risk COVID group. So it's important to keep wearing your mask. This k and segment was sponsored by the Northside Business Association. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching k and Have a great weekend and tune in next week for Kids Make the News Happen.